Hi guys, welcome back to another foundation review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. I have reviewed the All Nighter in the original Naked, so I will link those down below. As always, I will be showing you application, before and after, a close-up, flash photo test, how it looks in natural light, and of course wear it throughout the day and show you how it held up. This is not a first impression and there will be timestamps down below if you would like to skip ahead to any part of the review. And of course, be sure to subscribe because I have plenty more foundation reviews to come. But let's go ahead and get started. So if you're not familiar with this foundation, it was uh, replacing the original Naked foundation. This does come in 50 shades, which I think is awesome. It retails for 59 Canadian, or sorry, 58 Canadian, 39 American. You're getting a full fluid ounce in here, and I think the packaging is really, really pretty. You can see the shade through, which I appreciate. If you can, get a couple samples in this foundation. 50 Shades is incredible. I like the naming conventions because they've got like neutral, warm, yellow, red, green, uh, and a numbering system, but being spoiled for choice at times can be a little overwhelming. I've, I don't think I've ever had a harder time picking my foundation shade, <laughs> and I'm still not totally sure that this is the absolute best option, but I have been wearing it and I do think it looks good. So if you are a similar shade to me, be sure to let us know down below what shade you're wearing. Maybe Maybe what shade you wear in MAC or Smashbox or in the older versions of the Urban Decay just to help people shade match and in the all-nighter and in the original Naked I never felt like I had a good shade match so if you can get a sample I recommend doing that um, or just watching a lot of YouTube reviews is how I also do it but it can still be a little bit tricky so I have some foundation shades that I am in other more popular brands linked down below but this foundation says that it is weightless but has a matte finish good for normal oily combo skin so kind of all skin types do they say dry yeah so they say dry as well this is also a vegan formula and uh, it is of course supposed to last for 24 hours which I think is heinous but I'm gonna go ahead and prime half of my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter face primer which I have been enjoying and then we'll get into application. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out, um, I'm gonna do one pump of the foundation. It's quite liquidy, very light and I'm going to use a sponge. Um, I don't have the Urban Decay Original Naked to show you like a side by side because I, I didn't mind the formula but the shade wasn't great so I ended up decluttering that I think along with the all-nighter honestly because the shade was just kind of it just wasn't great and I own a lot of foundations so <laughs> I didn't feel the need this definitely is a real is a good shade match I tend to go more neutral over yellow but there are times where I go like a golden -y peach it just depends on the foundation range and the availability so this is definitely more on the neutral side so that is one full pump and it's a decent size pump but not too big it's a liquidy formula easily blended i used a sponge which is going to share out the coverage a little bit got a couple of breakouts here too but i think it looks really good i'm going to blend over here you'll see how it covers up some of those acne marks but still lets my skin shine through and you can always spot conceal after the fact this does say it has a matte cover, or sorry, a matte finish, not a natural coverage, which I was kind of expecting it to, to say it was matte, or sorry, to say it was, to say it was <laughs> natural. Wow. The world is in a crazy place right now, and my brain is all over the place, so... <laughs> So I'm gonna leave the coverage right here. I think it looks really good. It definitely feels weightless, as they say. I think it feels really good. Um, it isn't like completely a matte just yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and take my flash photos before I put on the concealer just to see how it looks, and then I'll be right back to show you concealer. So I'm gonna use the corresponding concealer, which is the Stay Naked Correcting Concealer. I'm using this in the shade 50WY, which is warm yellow. This is a little bit light for me. Um, I don't know if you can see. The applicator is like an interesting shape I like that um, <clears throat> I like that shape uh, so the color is a little lighter than what I would prefer I'll show you swatches of what it looks like in comparison to the other Urban Decay concealers I have they did send me this for review it's obviously not sponsored I would have verbally mentioned that but um, with the goings-on I'm not looking to I'm trying to reduce the amount of packages I'm getting right now along with I don't want to have to ask somebody to go into an office if they're working from home to send me a package or to have a delivery person have extra deliveries just trying to reduce all activity essentially at the moment so 
I will show you the other concealers. The original Naked Concealer is one of my favorite concealers of all time. I feel like finding a good medium coverage concealer can be hard. Lots of good full coverage concealers out there, um, but this one was just so good. So I have the All Nighter and the original Naked in medium neutral. So you'll see obviously these are more neutral. This is the Naked and this is the All Nighter or sorry, the, what did they call it? Is it All Nighter? Yeah. And then this one is the new Stay Naked. So you can see that has more yellow in it. So unlike the foundation, this claims to be full coverage while the foundation claims to be medium. I'm gonna tap it out with my fingers and then I'm gonna blend it out with this makeup, or sorry, Real Techniques setting brush. This is my favorite brush for concealer. This concealer comes in 25 shades, by the way, which I think is pretty good. Uh, I do feel like, however, I don't love it as much as I love the original Naked. I wish they had done even a full coverage natural finish concealer over a full coverage matte concealer because they already do have the All Nighter. I feel like the All Nighter is a little more matte. This definitely, I don't know about as full coverage. I haven't worn the All Nighter concealer in a while, but this is definitely not as full coverage as like a Shape Tape or the um, Too Faced born this way I find those to be a little higher coverage and I like the finish on those a little bit better the foundation hasn't fully set yet and in my opinion doesn't look doesn't look matte that's the only thing I have on my face it was just moisturized so it doesn't look completely matte but I'm gonna go ahead now and use the powder foundation actually let me set my under eyes so I'm going to be using the um, Stay Naked The Fix Powder Foundation. This I have in 60NN as well. I don't know if I said that about the original one. Um, this only has 6 grams of product in here, which is almost nothing when you compare to other powder foundations. So the Too Faced Powder Foundation has 10 grams. MAC, I think, has the best amount of powder foundation at 15 grams. Drugstore brands tend to have around 10, 11. So 6 grams of product is really not much. I think the least product I've seen that like, comes to mind is this Charlotte Tilbury powder and I run through this so quickly there's eight grams in here so six grams of product is really not a lot if you do plan on using it like a powder foundation that is something to keep in mind or if you just plan on using it like I feel like the amount of product in powder foundations is often not mentioned even if something is drugstore um, but you're getting double the amount of product in there it's gonna end up lasting longer. This powder foundation as well only comes in 24 shades, which if this was meant to be a setting powder, then fine. But if this is supposed to be the powder foundation almost equivalent of the liquid, there should be more shades in here if you do want to use this as a powder foundation. It is saying to be medium coverage, so you will be able to get more people under one shade. Um, it says it's medium coverage and a matte a matte finish but I would say all of these are more like natural matte in my opinion than matte because I feel like they would also consider their all-nighter products matte I don't know it's more natural matte which I, which I prefer so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup very simple makeup day today and then we will chat about the flash photos okay so I have the rest of my makeup on now as always everything that I'm wearing will be listed and linked down below but things look and feel really really comfortable weightless as they say and uh, I'm really happy with how all the products play together as for the flash photo test because this foundation is quite neutral I've still got a little bit of a tan from Mexico uh, I think you can see some of the neutralness in my skin, but it definitely doesn't have any major flashback and I think it looks good. And kind of studio lighting photo, I thought it looked good as well, but I think you can really see in these photos, like this does not look matte to me. And that just may, may be like what Sephora has on their website because they only have like certain ways you can list things in terms of the finish but if you're looking for something super super matte I would go towards the all-nighter although that's not necessarily my favorite formula I definitely prefer this type of formula but I'm gonna go ahead and wear this for a few more hours and I will check back with you in some natural light hey guys coming to you with my about midday check-in in some natural light I put on the foundation a little later in the day today at around 11 it is now just after 4 so I've had the foundation on for quite some time I did just wake up from a nap uh, and I actually started napping on the couch and got like got those like Ikea pillows that everybody has and I had all these like impressions in my face but they went away and I didn't seem to remove any of the actual foundation then I moved my nap to the bed 
and I can't tell if it's the way I slept I kind of slept on my back but this side of my face seems a lot less oily than this side and this was the side that I did I do have the primer on and I do feel like that primer does help with oil control it's not that I'm oily I just kind of sweat a little bit during my naps I have like pants and a hoodie on I had Emily there who gets super hot so Overall, I think things do look really good. I'm not going to blot or powder. I feel um, pretty comfortable with the way things are. The concealer does maybe look a little bit dry under my eyes. That tends to happen with a lot of concealers as the day goes on. Uh, and I did also want to mention, I have not tried out the powder foundation as just a powder foundation. I've only used it to set my face. From what I can tell, it kind of seems like it would be pretty light coverage. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wear this for a few more hours and I will check back with you this evening. So I'm here at the end of the day, very clear hoodies on hair is up ready to wash my face <laughs> um, I'm gonna do just a little bit of blotting just to show you what it looks like I feel I still think it looks good and I would be happy to continue wearing this but um, I don't want to I also want to say this um, L'Oreal eyeliner held up really well it is one of the I think they're still they still exist the infallible paints liquid eyeliner Actually, I was going to powder a bit, but I think I'm just going to take my powder brush. So my thoughts on these products, I definitely like the foundation. I think it's a great option, especially where there are so many shades. If you're able to <laughs> figure out the puzzle of shades, uh, I think that is really, really exciting to see so many in there. And like I said in the beginning, I do like their naming conventions. I like the finish of it. It's kind of this satin matte finish. Feels really, really lightweight. Looks quite lightweight as well. I don't feel like I had any major issues with oxidization or anything. It lasted really nice on my face. Didn't patch away considering I napped. I got a little bit sweaty. I've not been focused on like, you know, keeping my face looking perfect all day because, you know, I'm inside all day. That's how it goes now. So um, I think that things look really, really nice. As for the concealer, definitely not my favorite. I really prefer the original Naked Concealer. I thought that that had a better finish. Um, it still looks okay under my eyes, just a little bit dry. And it definitely was not the full coverage that they said it was. And they already have that full coverage matte offering in the All Nighter. So it would have been nice to see them come out with something medium and more like like naked weightless in my opinion powder foundation is nice nothing remarkable if you would like to see a video on that as just a foundation let me know as a setting powder I do think it's nice and I think that if you're the type of person who likes um, a more medium coverage kind of lighter coverage powder it's quite a light powder and doesn't look super matte on the skin it could be a good option but the big downfall there is the six grams of product it's just so little product um, but yeah the standout for me is definitely the foundation as for what types of skin types I think could enjoy this I feel like it could technically kind of work for everybody but your prep is just gonna change so those of you that have um, more oily skin you know using the all-nighter primer the all-nighter setting spray you know how much I love that if you have um, a drier skin type it's not that matte but you still may want to add down a little bit of moisture in there uh, yeah so I think it could kind of work for everybody and both in terms of the actual finish and the available shades so I think that 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 this is a pretty successful launch from Urban Decay let me know down below if you have tried this foundation and if you're curious to see any of my reviews kind of compare this foundation to other foundations you can always type my name into the uh, YouTube description box Samantha Jane NARS Tinted Moisturizer, so I the Jane L Flawless Finish, and see if I have reviewed those foundations or check the playlist down below. But thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at SamanthaJaneYT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!